How are you? Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. What's his name? It's Luis. How? Luis. Luis? Yes. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Which one do It's you want? It's my pleasure. Espresso uh, or a full one? Espresso. Sugar? Yes. Extra, please. It's fine. Yeah, here you have. Thank you so much and thank you for having me. It's my great pleasure that I was invited by Radio Television Portugal and OGAI to perform at Euro Cafe, Euro Club, uh, so many beautiful clubs. And that's a big, like, you know, opportunity to share my new music. I will promote my new single, El Ritmo. I released my book 10 days ago about Eurovision performance and, like, mission, yeah. Uh, by the end of the year will be translated in English, of course. And of course to support Montenegro this year and you know, to have so many connecting connections with new artists and to give so many beautiful interviews, of course. Hi Tali, can, I t can, we, can we take you for a coffee maybe? Of course, I want to come and let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Cinnamon will be great. I drink so much coffee, you can't imagine. <laughs> Many cups a day. I'm a TV uh, producer and I'm an expert in Eurovision. Uh, I produced uh, the past years the pre-select, the Israeli pre-selections and the documentary movies and magazines uh, and uh, about the Eurovision Song Contest. Hi, Laura. Hi. Can we, can we maybe? Uh, do you have time for a coffee? Yeah, maybe? please. Let's do it. Okay. Feet to get popped. <laughs> As you have Brazilian roots, maybe does that mean you really like coffee? Oh my God, does it? Yes, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I am dependent on coffee. I don't know if that's my Brazilian side or my Latvian side or me just not sleeping enough side. <laughs> you just had your rehearsal, last rehearsal before the big moment. How was it on stage? It felt really good. I feel like after last night when we were doing the jury rehearsal and you know it's the jury and you're like I want my technique to be perfect, I want everything to be on spot and still deliver emotionally. Like after that, that's the, thing that's the most stressful performance of all. Um, but I had so much fun and then tonight, today was just about having fun on stage and feeling the song and I felt it and I'm super ready, super excited. Unfortunately, I didn't qualify, but fortunately I made big success after Eurovision so I was a part of UK X Factor. I was scouted by Simon Cowell's production. Yeah. And my mentor was Nicole Scherzinger, Pussycat All. Yeah. And I make it till the live shows. And after that, I started to travel the world, having a lot of shows. Eurovision is not only about qualifying and points, it's about the mission, it's about delivering art and delivering your artistic human being. Why are you so passionate about Eurovision? Oh, it's really a passion, yours totally right because uh, it's fun I think the first of all it's music and fun that's involved uh, everything that I love okay I, I love this music and uh, you can fall in love in seconds you know uh, with the song um, and I love uh, the opportunity to meet so many people from so many countries I think it, it um, brings us all uh, to be one community for one time in a once in a year to meet all together and uh, it's like a huge big family and it's great uh, and then you can forget everything you are coming to Eurovision and for two two weeks and you forget of everything and all it's about music and friends and the uh, and fun. Not really. Everyone that I've talked to and has been super supportive and super nice and we like each other's songs too, a lot of the artists at least, and it's it's great. We're all supporting each other. I was live tweeting semi-final one, just being like, yeah, go Austria, Switzerland, rock and roll. And I want everyone to do well too. We've all worked so hard for this day. I, want, I hope everyone's happy with their performance tonight. I was talking to one of the artists and they said that they really appreciate your song because you wrote it yourself. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it felt special to me too because I do co writes as well sometimes for songs. But to think that a song that I wrote by myself in a be my bedroom at four in the morning was picked for this, it's wow, <laughs> feels nice. And I was packing to travel the, in that morning to a festival, and of course, I was packing last minute as Laura do. 
and uh, and then I had the idea of the song and I kind of stopped packing everything and just sat down on my keyboard I was like I need to write this down and then wrote it down in half an hour so it was really quick release finish so to think that from that we're here doing this it's really crazy I adore to travel I've been to South Africa I've been to Australia I've been to so many countries around Europe now I'm preparing for USA for United States of America so traveling, uh, you know, for me, traveling is a life because traveling, meeting so many uh, different cultures, nationalities, for me, is like great inspiration for everything I create like an artist. First time when I came here, I was refreshing all my memories and like images from last year and it was really, really strange, but it's beautiful atmosphere because this is everything about art and about love. And I'm so happy to share my moments here with all another artists. You organize every year uh, Israel Calling. How was it this year, uh, the concert? It was, uh, wasn't it on uh, Rabin Square? Yes, it was. We decided uh, to, to take it to Rabin Square. We were very surprised how many people come. They came, 30,000 people. and. I, I was so happy. I was so happy to see this. Did you watch the first semi-final? Yeah, I live tweeted during the whole thing, especially because my friends were playing. So, of course, I've watched Revision before, but watching it with people you know on stage. <sighs> but everyone did super great. I loved semi-final one. And yeah, I hope everyone's happy too. Were there surprises for you in that semi-final? Yeah, I mean, I thought that Switzerland was going to qualify. I thought they did so great. Um, Zips, they were fantastic. Coco and Shtey are wonderful people. And I think they really set the stage on fire, literally, quite literally. And I was really cheering them on. But I think everyone performed super well. So I think that everyone that went through also deserves their place in the final. Are you scared not to qualify? Is it something... No, because it's out of my control. I've worked really hard and I know that I'm going to give everything I have on stage tonight and I've been doing that every time I go up there and right now I think this is the best delivery that I can give uh, of my song and now it's up to see if people will connect with it and if they want to vote for me. It's out of my hands. Would you maybe change something on your act or your performance? Uh, okay, if you ask me, of course I would. First of all, I would change my budget. You know, because that was the main problem for my act that I was alone on the stage without any kind of pyrotechnics, you know. I was alone with my dance moves, with my braid, with my myself and my videos around me, you know, because everything at the end is about money, you know, to pay something. So, but it should be like that, you know, because that act now, it's, people call it like legendary and epic, and that's the most important for me. Would you, would you like to come back to the Eurovision Song Contest? Of course, why not? And you know what, when I came here in Lisbon, and when I entered like the arena and all these beautiful like rooms, I felt something very strange in a positive way, and I feel that for a few years I will be back to Eurovision. Why is Eurovision so big in Israel? Then? I think it became uh, bigger and bigger the last years uh, because everybody understood uh, its potential uh, that it could introduce Israel and its music and uh, our uh, singers to, to the world and I think it's the best opportunity. Those three minutes is much more than three minutes. It's all about, you know, your country, your artist, your music. So people finally begin to understand it. Playing at Euro Village, that was wonderful. The audience was amazing. I bumped into a lot of people that I met at the pre-parties from Spain and Israel. And that was su super fun. Um, and I got to do a 20 minute set there. We got to like dance too, because my song is a ballad and I really love it. But being able to perform like this pasito in Shape of You and get people dancing with me was really special. That's maybe your Brazilian roots. Yeah, yeah, because I can like move my hips a little more and dance. And, and I, that's like, as, a, as an artist, I tend to move a lot on stage and to dance. So it was good to be able to showcase that side. And I mean, being here with this atmosphere, it was a very special performance. Did you cut off the ponytail or <laughs> where is it? <laughs> Here's like a little bit. It's in my hotel room. Little Slavko is sleeping now. Yeah, waiting for a show tonight. <laughs> but he's, he's with you. He is with me, of course. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you.